Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Today on the bench, I want to tie you up Don's Coho Jig. Now, I've got to thank Rod Toth of Bent Rods. He actually showed me this pattern, very similar to this one with the right colors, and all I did is I modified it for coho. So make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a one quarter ounce purple bent rods jig hook. We'll tie with some six aught black thread. We'll use some purple marabou for the tail, some purple hot pink silly legs for the legs, and some hot pink UV polar chenille for the body. To start the fly off, I have the hook in the vise, and I'm just gonna put a base layer of thread on here, and just wanna cover your hook fully up. Now I've taken three silly legs. I'm gonna wrap them on my thread and tie them right behind the bead. So right behind that big jig hook. And you'll see the legs will get fairly long. So what I do is I'll pull them over slightly. I just wanna measure them up so when, I, when they're finished, they're about the length of the hook. So I'm gonna go back and you'll have a whole bunch of material here, but that's all right. Cause you're just gonna wrap this in and over. So we'll just wrap it up and cover all that Cover all those legs and take those legs back right to the bend of the hook. Now the legs are tied in. I've taken two marabou feathers, purple ones. I'm going to measure it up again about the length just so they're extending just about the length of the legs and tie that in. I've now moved my thread up towards behind the jig head and I'm going to tie in my UV pink, hot pink material and we're just going to wrap this forward to form the body and as you wrap keep pulling that material back to form a nice full body. Now that the body's tied in, I'm gonna take my whip finisher and I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna give it a couple of good whips. Probably about uh, you know, four turns for each one. Probably gonna whip finish it over about three times and that should do it for the fly. So there it is, Dawn's Coho Jig. You know, I gotta thank Rod Toth of Bent Rods. He actually showed me the original pattern and all that it did is I made a few tweaks to make it a coho jig. But make sure you have some in your box if you're going out for coho.